Hello and welcome back to the people who have been keeping up with this playlist. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Christian Hardscaper, where we do a lot of hardscape installation videos as well as other landscape construction videos. Uh, we're at the point in this process where we're laying out our screed pipes, which um, these pipes you see me using here are called uh, galvanized gas pipes. You can get them from any of your um, home stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, and they're uh, inch interior gas pipe so it's like an inch and a quarter exterior and um, any kind of uh, gas pipe smaller than that they're just not really that strong or durable and after a while of um, using them and, and hammering them they bend and they're just not a true straight edge anymore so make sure you get a nice durable um, galvanized gas pipe for screeding uh, your walkways or patios but um, let's get right into this guy and I'll explain what I'm doing All right, guys. So this this uh, walkway is going to be pretty much two different grades. Uh, by the landing is going to be somewhat level, with a little bit pitched this way, a little bit of pitch that way, and then from here to the driveway is going to be more pitch that way to keep the water running off to the driveway, down to the street, and also towards the grass. So these pipes are going to be not perfectly met up so after we screed we'll hand trowel and fade the um, the screed where it kind of meets at a point we'll fade that with our trowel alright guys I got these two pipes um, all set so we got level side to side on both of these and that'll be so when you're looking at the landing the, uh, it's as level as possible and then from the uh, landing side to the grass we've got a little more than an eighth of a pitch just to ensure the water is gonna pitch away from the house and not pool up by the stairs so these two pipes are all set now we uh, fade these pipes into these ones and those are gonna pitch towards the driveway and towards the grass as well. Alright guys, a little trick as well with screeding with the levels. The level is usually almost the exact same width of a paver. Um, so it's you can get yourself a rough estimate of where you're at with just the level. And um, the way I see it right there is the level is a little bit above the driveway. But when we uh, go to screed it, the um, the height of the chip stone is actually gonna be a little bit lower than the paver. Plus we have to um, account for some com compaction. So with this level, right about there, we got room for, uh, room for compaction and uh, missing out the chip stone. And from here, from this pipe to this pipe, we have an eighth of a pitch. And that's literally from this spot to right where this level is. And then once we get onto this pipe, it's a lot more than an eighth. But like I told you, we want it to really pitch away from the, the house. So those two are set. This one's all set. Well, let's check this one. So we have our we have our eighth. So this side's higher than this side, which is what we want to ensure the water goes this way. And we have our pitch going that way. So that's a little bit more than what we need. The bottom looks good. Just need to knock this top in a little. this pipe to this pipe again we have an eighth of a pitch and then when we go on to this pipe we have the same one as we had before over there on that side so we got a good slope going down and we got a, 
a good eighth, a little bit more than an eighth going that way. Now our screed rails are all set. Um, over on that side, I'll probably just hand trowel once I get by it with the screed rail. And uh, we'll fill in the holes with the chipstone. Let's start, uh, let's start screeding. Alright, so this is our chipstone, permeable, just aggregate, um, three eighths are the big ones, but there's a lot of quarter inch and eighth inch um, rock in there. Nice screedable material and allows water to pass no problem. Wow! <laughs> What'd you guys do if I walked like that? <laughs> wow, this looks mint. Wow. Dude, these guys gotta be ecstatic about this, huh? So that was 35 yards, Benny. That's probably another two. So this backyard took 37 yards. Now we gotta fix our damage in the front yard, but see, it looks real good. You happy with it, Dave? A couple of roots have been popped up, I don't like, but. <laughs> nice. This looks mint. On a little rocks. Yep. Yeah, all the little pebbles. Try to get the grass to grow before you see those. Well, if they come up in a couple foot strip here, I come up, then I come back down and come yep. up. Yep. Come up, and then I get a line over here. And then... <laughs> Dude, I love raking loom, bro. What do you think, Benny? I like it. How do I look with this dumb thing on my head? It's stretching my, it's stretching my eyes up. <laughs> so, uh, you guys want to do something? Look at my footprints. Dave's probably pissed at me right now. I'll walk in the same. I'll walk in the same prints, dude. Now I gotta walk like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, David. Dude, look at I can see myself from the reflection. I look I do look a little silly. I mean <laughs> I look like uh honey I shrunk the kids when he's over the grass oh, in the backyard man. doing <laughs> Man. It's funny how like when you think about those movies dude and you're like wow you get all hyped up because of nostalgia and you watch it you're like oh it's really not that good <laughs> yeah wow they've come a long way with me yeah exactly like, my son says all the time he's like so this, like, this is so fake <laughs> this is so fake hey ethan the kid you're watching it's all fake too buddy yep but it looks fake it's just better better fake <laughs> in 20 years from now you're watching right now, you're gonna say it looks like garbage. Oh yeah. Dude, every every couple years you can really see the difference in the movies, man. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, well, not like appliances and like TV and like shit you like you need. <laughs> like everything else, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Retro. <laughs> that shit raked up and then we'll chase it out the yard. That's it. We'll have to uh, clean the tracks up a little bit and then. Um, once that's there, Benny, if you guys work together and uh, you can grab the skid steer, just bring loom back out. They'll shovel it out little by little, fill in the tracks. One guy raking, one guy shoveling it out the bucket, you know, three-man operation.
bike last week on the brink for a couple of days. Oh, the fair? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Was it popping? Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> like COVID never happened. Yeah. Dude, I love those things, man, because they're just really cool what they have, but I just can't be around that many people, dude. I lose it. It's the stuff. Like you're so like your head spinning. Like, yep. Stuff. It's like you don't even take in the people. Like, <laughs> you're so like like junk drunk. Yeah, junk drunk. That's an that's funny. You know? Yeah. Junk drunk. Oh, Dave, I keep meaning to tell you, bro. I got, uh, did I tell you about the tractor wheels? No. Dude, uh, I think one wagon wheel, two tractor wheels. All metal, dude. Real old, dude. Yeah. Where we were working in Hopkinton, she was just getting rid of a bunch of scrap metal and they were in it. I'll have to show you a picture. Dave's an awesome guy. He loves yard sailing and going to fairs and antiques and stuff, so that's why I shared that with him. But, uh, so we're, we're screening now. And uh, you can see where those two pipes meet. That's going to take a little bit of finesse work afterwar afterwards to make sure it fades in right. And I will show you how to do that. But, um, you know, when it comes to screeding, guys, I see a lot of people using 2x4s and stuff. And, um, you know, there's really not many 2x4s that you can buy that are, are true and straight like a level is or some kind of screed rail. So make sure you use a, a level or a screed rail, something more true than a 2x4 so that you don't end up with any... Uh, dips or, or humps in your walkway or patio and uh, anyway now I'm pulling these pipes out and I'm gonna fill the fill where the pipes were with some more chipstone and just use my uh, trowel or float to uh, level it all off we got it all screeded and uh, I filled in the, the pipe holes I guess you say or channels and I just wanted to go over real quick about stepping on the bedding sand. There's a lot of people out there that are really, really strict about not even wanting you to step on it. Um, I'm a little different. You can definitely step on it. You got to trowel stuff out anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really rough where these two pipes met because of the angle. And this is what I was explaining at the beginning is you can't worry about that too much because it can end up just kind of um, killing your production time. When you know you can go through with the trowel anyway. So I'm going to go up with the trowel and smooth that out and work my way out anyway. But um, to me, the main reason the screed pipes are there is to get your grade right. Uh, there's always room to, to work with the, the chip stone with your trowel. Um, like that bit where that mailbox is, I want a little bit more pitch. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slowly pitch it up a little bit. So we know that the water is going to stay away from the landing. So um, you can always go back, to, back through it with your trowel and... Um, you got to go back through it anyway to smooth out where your pipes are, pipes were. So don't be too worried about it. I mean, you don't want to go trampling over everything you did. But, um, you know, if you're cautious and you step on, like, where the pipes were or where you have to um, trowel anyway, you can, um, you can definitely walk on it. So let's do that. Let's, um, let's trowel this area out. nice back up a little all right this is where the uh, two pipes mat right here so it's really rough um, and this is where we got to fade it in correctly Don't worry about not being able to reach. You can move over and get it from another area. You just kind of do what's in your uh, your reach.
All right. So, as you can see, you really don't have to worry too much about those. You just go through it and you do some touch-ups. And um, that's just the way it goes. Because these pipes, especially if you've got a few different um, grades you're going with or pitches, there's always going to be some kind of point. So you got to get in there with the trowel and uh, smooth it out, fade it in almost. So i got to do that same thing with the, uh, with the pipes where I grade it all out. And then it's to lay in some pavers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how we uh, screed for a paver walkway. If you haven't seen the videos of how we excavated and backfilled before this video, make sure you check those out. Hit that like and subscribe for me. It goes a long way for the channel. And also check out the next video where we uh, lay the pavers. So thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, God bless.